Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Ocean Swell stitch. Now when I came across this stitch, it did not have a name, so I'm calling it the Ocean Swell stitch uh, because it reminds me of some beautiful ocean waves. It's uh, fairly straightforward to work once you get the hang of it. It is a four row repeat and features some beautiful texture. Most of the texture is to the front, but the back is also quite pretty as well. Today for our tutorial, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as well as a little bit of worsted weight yarn. This is a 100% cotton, the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written instructions which are on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every single week with new free crochet patterns as well as crochet stitch tutorials on Sunday morning. Our switch stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain. Your foundation chain for this stitch pattern will need to be a multiple of 11 stitches plus two for your foundation chain. So today I'm going to chain a total of 35. There's 30 and 35. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into the third chain from your hook. And then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain two and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a half double crochet into our first stitch, so just at the base of our turning chain half double crochet. We're now going to work front post half double crochet stitches, but we're going to work them slightly differently than we normally would. We're going to work the half po uh, the front post half double crochet by inserting our hook just under the top loops of the previous stitch and then around the post and out through just under the next top loops of the next stitch. So we're going to start by yarning over, starting in the previous stitch, insert your hook, go around the back of the post of the next stitch, and out through the top of the next stitch, just like so. So you just have, you're just working right under the two loops instead of under the actual post. You go around the actual post. You're going to yarn over, draw up your loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space or the same stitch as the previous stitch, around the post of the next stitch and out through the top of the next stitch. Yarn over, draw up your loop, yarn over and pull through all three. You're going to continue that all the way across until you come to your turning chain two. What this is going to do is normally when you work a post stitch, you kind of get a hard top ridge of texture on the other side. This is going to still give you the look of that texture, 
but make it a little bit less pronounced and give you a smoother back. So continue working those front post stitches all the way across. So I've come almost all the way across. I have one more half double front post, half double crochet stitch to work. And then I'm going to work my final half double crochet just into the top of that turning chain. You can then chain one and turn your work. You should have a nice ridge of texture on the other side. For row three, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of the next stitch. You're then going to skip the next five stitches. Into your next stitch, and actually not into your next stitch, under your next stitch, you're going to work five double crochet stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, skip the next five stitches, then under, so not in the top loops, but under the next stitch in the space between the two stitches really, you're going to work five double crochet stitches all into that same space. You're then going to work five more double crochet stitches, but this time working under the previous stitch. So you skipped five and then worked it under your sixth. So this time you're going to be working under the fifth stitch. So yarn over, bring your hook in front and insert it under the fifth stitch into the space between the two stitches and yarn over, drop a loop, complete your double crochet stitch. You're going to do that five times. When you're working these stitches, you don't want them too loose because you don't want uh, strands of yarn kind of sitting every which way, but you also don't want them to, to be too tight as you want them to come up to the height of your double crochet stitch. So work your five double crochet stitches. You're then going to skip the next four stitches and single crochet into the next. So you should have this little bit of a textured shell here. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next five stitches and under your next stitch, so in this space really between the two stitches, work five double crochet stitches. all into the same space and then crossing over those five worked in under the previous stitch in the space between you're going to work five more double crochet stitches crossing over I'm just going to pull out my little knot here that I've managed to develop there we go so working over top of those previous five double crochets, you're just working these next five around them. Skip the next four stitches and work a single crochet into the next. I'm going to repeat that all the way across. Once you come all the way across at the end of row three, you're going to skip the next four stitches and simply work one single crochet into the final stitch. You're going to leave the remaining chain two unworked. You can then chain two and turn your work. For row four, we are essentially repeating our row two. I'm going to begin with a half double crochet into the first stitch 
and then work those front post half double crochet stitches all the way across beginning by inserting your hook into the same stitch as the last stitch and then around th the back and out through the front of the next stitch. So work your half double crochet stitches in each your front post half double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row four, you're going to work a final half double crochet into uh, front post half double crochet, working the final part into your single crochet. You're then going to work one more half double crochet just into the top of that single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. For row four, sorry, for row five, we're going to begin by working five double crochet stitches all into the next stitch, and we're just working them into the top of that next stitch. Skip the next four stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to skip the next five stitches and then into your next stitch work your five, sorry, under your next stitch into the space kind of between the two stitches you're going to work your five double crochet stitches. And then into the space under the previous stitch, work five more double crochet stitches crossing over top of the ones just worked. Skip the next four stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next five stitches, working under the next stitch in the space between the two stitches, work five double crochet stitches, Then working in the space between the two stitches under the previous stitch, work five more double crochet stitches, working over top of the pre five previous ones just made. Skip the next four stitches single crochet into the next stitch. When you come all the way across, you're going to skip the next four, uh, four stitches, sorry, five stitches, and then work five double crochet stitches into your next stitch. And then one final double crochet stitch into the starting chain two, into the turning chain, so just into the top of it. And that brings you to the end of your row five, and it also brings you to the end of the repeats in this pattern. So for the rest of the pattern, at the end of row five, you're going to chain two, and then you're simply going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five for as long as you would like. Once uh, you're finished, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, 
and that is how you work the ocean swell stitch pattern so thank you so much for joining me once again don't forget to uh, subscribe and feel free to say hello down in the comments or tell me how you would like to use this stitch in a project and i look forward to seeing all your crochet makes until next time happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.